Hello and welcome once again to Fussels TV and you wouldn't believe it, I know I say this every time, but we've managed to secure the services of Mr. John Hello Mellick. Timothy, good to be back again. And here we are. Under and, Johnny's as well again. And we're under Johnny's, we're on the dessert specialities. And me and the Melican are going to be preparing a peach melba today. We are with a bit of difference as well. With a, a little bit yeah, with a bit of almond and vanilla ice cream. Oh my goodness. And where, does the, where does the vanilla ice cream and come from? And a bit of watermelon in there. Where does the vanilla ice cream come from? It comes from me. It comes and, from this man over here. Okay, so just to let you know, that's Johnny's Dairy Free Ice Cream dot com. Exactly. Okay, and you can go along and find out all about what he's up to. So today, uh, following on from the episodes we've been doing uh, with Johnny and his desserts and his nut milks and his uh, uh, milkshakes. And we've had some lovely, lovely stuff to taste. And now we're moving on to a peach melba with some strawberry syrup and some watermelon. So, Johnny, how are we going to do that? Quite, Timothy. Very, very simple. Uh, well, it is always simple, isn't it? We make it's it. It's all we, we, we make well, it simple. Well, yeah. that's what people have commented. They say you make it look so Why? easy. Yeah. Is that what it no, is? they were talking about the pair of us. God. Oh, were they? Not yes, about they me were. Then. No, no, oh, you were. Okay, no, fair, no. Enough. fair enough. Fair enough. So, Timothy, what we're going to do? We're going to poach some peaches now. Poach some peaches now. What? What's this mixture? This, this liquor, liquor here. here. Tell Timothy. It's all about this, because this, this is, is liquor here, Timothy. Bear with me. This is, is simmering away. This is unbelievable. This has got basically in here like cardamom seeds and it's got some star anise. You don't need a lot of star anise when you're cooking star anise, yeah. I've seen some people they just kind of put back in lorry loads. You don't, don't need it because that flavour comes oh, out, doesn't it? It's so strong, man. And, and it gets and bitter with too But much. this is just water, agave. Agave or whatever you call it. Agave sugar. Yeah. Agave sugar and um, cardamom, the cardamom and the and that's it. That's it, yeah. That's it, yeah. And the flavour of this liquor is amazing, isn't it? That is it, yeah. That is it, yeah. Exactly that. And what we're going to do to poach these peaches, we're just going to go like that, Timothy. You are. You're just going to score the skin, yeah. Now, if these were not ripe, this liquid here we've made, we'd make the liquor and we'd make it go cold, and we'd put the poach, we'd put the peaches in it, and we'd bring them to the boil and take them off. But because they're ripe. So how's that for Yeah, a... you only got a top and bottom. And top because, and bottom? Yeah, and because oh. they're ripe, um, we just want to put them in a hot liquid, okay? Okay. So we'll do that, and then while you're doing that, Timothy, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some strawberries, and I'm going to put them in a bowl, and I'm going to take the top off them, yeah. So how much do I have to score these? Uh, that's loads, Tim. That's loads. that's loads, yeah. So I can just bang them in, can I? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. And then what you do is put them in, bring them to the boil, and then what all we're going to do is just take them off. Yeah, take them off, and this is the ready nut time. So what I'm doing here, right, I'm making like a strawberry Kool-Aid here, or sauce, or whatever, but it's very natural. There's no blitzing, nothing like that. Nothing at all, so we don't need no. the nappy dispenser for this. We don't need a blender, as he calls it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is this thing over here. That's this thing over there. Yeah. There we are. So like all it. I'm gonna do here with this, Tim, right, is if you wanna just peel me some lemon, uh, I think I've got a peeler here. Yeah, all I would like, is... Am I putting the lid back on here? Uh, you can do, yeah. I just want one, two, yeah. One, that's, two. That's it, yeah. And that lemon then can go in here. Yeah. And I'll just put the strawberries in here. I you just want the zest, do you? Yeah, I just want the, yeah, just the zest. That's it, no, nothing else. And then we'll put a squeeze of the lemon juice in here as well. Okay, and... Oh, lemon jelly. Yeah, How's that? Is that enough? Good. That's loads, yeah. Just put, just put it in here. In there with the peaches? No, 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 in here. In, in, here, in, in, in there. the strawberries, yeah. In, in the strawberries, yeah. Right, in the strawberries, okay, yeah. Fine. A little bit of mint. We yeah. do like a bit of mint. We put yeah. some mint in last time. And, and the milkshake. Milk it's just fresh and dry. Oh, it was delicious. A little bit of mint. It's summer, you know. Let's get these things going on. And what a glorious summer exactly. we've had, by the way. We're going to use... Exactly, we have. We so... Have. Remember the first episode we did when it was snowing? Oh, God, yeah. Of course I can. I've still got the coat at home. <laughs> so I'm putting a bit of the agave... I'm putting the liquor in the into the strawberries, strawberries, the mint, exactly. and the lemon. Okay? Exactly, yeah. So, as you can see now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this out of here. I'm just going to put these in here. Okay, I'm going to show this. So you can see now... See how the, the skin skin's starting to peel yeah, away? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, put that on there. And what I'm going to do, normally I take them off the skin... I take them off... Yeah, I leave them on the side and basically let them cool down and then I'll peel them. But I'm going to do it in the liquor, leave them on the side. But just to show this people at home, like, that hasn't been in there long, has it? No, it hasn't. No, look yeah. at how easy that's So that's, that's, that's done, yeah. So that's yeah. peeled, yeah. So, but obviously I want these cold, yeah. So I've got some in the fridge that are cold, yeah. So look at that. You're one step ahead of us already. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So in here, I've got the liquor, strawberries, milk and a bit of lemon juice. Yeah, and I'm going to put a little bit of this lemon juice in here as well, which will give it a little bit of acidity. 
Yeah, and what this is really, really cool. Uh, I know what you're going to do. What we're going to do. I know what you're going to do. You've seen it here before. Yeah. You've only seen it because I did it. I've done one earlier. Yeah, right. he's, yeah. got one, he's got one in the fridge already. <laughs> so, I was thinking. But we want it cold, Tim, so, you know. So we do that, bring it to the boil. I reckon 20 minutes, full on, get the steam going on. Right, OK. Take it off, leave it on the side for another five minutes. Let it cool down. The clink will... And clearly we haven't got time for that. So oh, what have you done? Well, actually, Tim, I've made time. You... <laughs> <laughs> so here we have got one here we, we made earlier. Look at exactly, that. Exactly, yeah. So I'll put that in the side. Put that, there. Yeah. Put that down. So there. I'm going to take this. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. And, but what also so I can I've take done this clean well, film Tim, off, can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what else I've done is I've done these peaches here. I've peeled them. Uh, not peeled them, but I've basically took, this, took them off. And these are cold now. Okay. So what we've done is, if you want to peel them, that'd be great. Okay. Yeah, easier. So, how easy is that? Let me get around there then. Yeah. Okay, so if we do the other one, that'd be great. So... Oh, dear me. Yeah. I don't think I could ever be a chef. I just want to eat all the food. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. That's why, um, that's why we don't do desserts often, Tim. So, you know, we, we won't, we won't, I wouldn't have any left. Oh, I wouldn't have any ice cream You wouldn't left. have any ice cream because exactly. I'd be eating exactly. it all the time. Now, today, we're going to make, uh, we're not going to make, sorry, we are going to use, um, um, with our peach milk, we're gonna, as I said before, we're going to use an almond milk, but we make it from vanilla. Now, the vanilla we use is obviously 100% vanilla pods uh, from Johnny's okay. Dairy Free. Yeah. And the milk that we use, we use almond milk. Now, we, I believe, I mean, this is going national. Please come back to me if, if but I've done my research and I can't find any of the almond milk that's actually on the actual market. But the reason I use almond milk, because it goes well with vanilla. As I said before, I've tried it with soya, I've tried it with coconut, I've tried it with everything, yeah? And my preference, obviously my background is kitchen, chefing, Michelin, la la la, is I like it with almond. So Johnny's is, is doing that with vanilla ice cream with almond. So and where is the, so, so where are we now? This is the product, yeah, this is what we do. Let's have a look at this little baby here. All right, so this is the dairy, now, I've tasted this vanilla ice cream and hopefully we're going to taste a little bit more in a minute, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, of course we are, of course, of course. This is, uh, I think everybody's favourite is vanilla and this one doesn't disappoint. Um, so you need to go and get yourself some of Johnny's oh, vanilla ice cream. Absolutely gorgeous. So what we're doing out, Tim, right? Ah! This is the watermelon. The watermelon. And as you can see, what month are we in? What? What month are we in? We're in uh, August. August. Now smell this. What does it smell of? It smells like watermelon. Yeah, and when you go to the supermarket, always smell your melons, because that's how, I know, you know, uh, that's how you know they're ripe. There you go, and look at that, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. so only melon, if you want to know it's ripe, you smell it. If you can't smell watermelon, put it back down again. Is that go for all melons? Yeah. or all melons, yeah. Always smell them first. There's no point buying an unripe melon, is there? It's horrible, is it? am, I, am I right? You're right. Exactly. You're always, so don't cut your- So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna tear it off. And the reason why I'm doing it like this- Is? Because we then can, just put it on the base of the plate. Yeah, like this. So, Look at that, a little bit of artistic license goes in there. Oh my goodness gracious me. That bit's for you. How ripe is that? Oh, how ripe is that? Now I do love watermelon. I love watermelon, it's my favourite. That's for the cameraman. I always associate watermelon with being on holiday oh, as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm. do, oh. Same with some nice tomatoes, I find that as well. Well, I could eat tomatoes every day, all day. Exactly. exactly. So, what we've got going on here, Tim? Is it, we've got this we've got, Okay, so this now is, this, if I can just interrupt for a minute. Now, this is the bit I love because not only do have we learned how to prepare some of these wonderful dishes that we've done yeah. over the past three months or so, but the presentation for me, I think... Yeah. What are you about iron uniform and stuff? <laughs> no, I'm what on about, about the presentation. Uh, sorry, Tim, yeah, I thought you were trying to pull me then. I thought you, I'm saying not my name and not I don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so... so we're looking at two sides, obviously we could put both on, but yeah. this is a meal for one, and as you say Tim, we're all trying to get fit out we? you know, that kind of, so we'll put a bit of melon on there, yeah. Yeah, a bit of peach, or we could put on that, well, how you're feeling, but, you know, put on that. Let's go like that, let's go so, with that one. Uh, and then we're going to get a bit of vanilla ice cream. Oh, yeah, I do vanilla. love Johnny's vanilla ice cream, <laughs> but it's in, it's not in that, it's, it's not it's in there, not in that no, one. No, it's in that one, there we go. He's not going to be able to shut the... No, there we are, they close the door. Obviously, right. we have got a situation here that we don't really have normally. And that is, in Fossil's Kitchen, we do rapeseed oil in here. And for the life of me, you'll never ever find an ice cream scoop. So today, we're going to use a spoon. And what we're going to use here, we're going to use a thing called a rocher today. And uh, what's a rocher? A is rocher, it? This is Europe from France, yeah? What's a rocher? Well, a rocher is something you climb where I come from. This way. 
a rocher is something you climb. Is it? Yeah. So what the climbing up this way? Well, the climbing up So what are you going to do? Well, I call it a quilt. Is it a quill or a, or a rocher? I call it. But a rocher is with one spoon. It won't be a good one there, so you've got no hot water. Have you not paid your bill? <laughs> 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 so what are you doing now? What are you... What are, I'm trying to get some hot water, Tim. Yeah, I know that, but what are you, what are you doing with the, with the rocheting here, then? Is that... What I'm going to do... Nice, it's a quinelle, rocher, quinelle, yeah. What we do is put it on here. Mm. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh. Yeah. And then what I've done, I'll let you have a go on that. Oh, you like cream, yeah? <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, and then we've got our sieve, which I'm using, which is over here. Shut the back door. The uh, vanilla ice cream is delicious. Favourite vanilla, isn't it? It is, yeah. So, and then what now, we this is our little... Uh, so we'll just put a little bit of syrup on here. This is the strawberry syrup, yeah? That we've made, yep. Mm. And then what I've done, Tim... What have you done? Just give it a bit of crunch. Is... is I've got a bit of sesame. I've got a bit of toasted coconut. Oh, my goodness gracious so, me. And I just think a little bit of texture would be good. quite nice, yeah? So a little bit of coconut, a little bit of sesame. And how easy is that? Do I get the taste now? That's, we're all done. Do we're, we're all done? We're all Hang on, so you get those off of there because you're going to start beeping away. Okay. So, I'm going to get my spoon here. So, got a poached peach. Poached peach. Very fresh. We've got the ice cream. Ice cream, and we've yeah. got some sesame seeds, and we've got some uh, coconut uh, on there. Toasted coconut, yeah. Toasted coconut, right. All right, and that's it, Tim. So, crack on. Yeah, fresh. Mm. And as I said before, this is made from almond milk. Fairly similar to how we make the... Um, the almond is very similar to how we make the, um, the cashew milk, it's all blitzed down, very simple. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm going to ask you a question now. I told you you got my number. Have you... <laughs> what is your favourite discipline, if you like? Because we've done quick main courses, we've done some soups, and now we're concentrating on desserts. And of course, with Johnny's Dairy Free Ice Cream, are desserts your favourite? Is that your favourite thing? You know, Tim? My favourite thing is, is is what you said, but it's not in a discipline, but it's discipline in food. And it's never the food's fault, you've got to give the food respect. Whether it be an apple, a peach, a pear, a plum, an apple, whether it be your rapeseed, it doesn't matter. But if it's a good quality product, you've got to give it the respect it deserves. So that's the discipline, yeah. And again here, how do you, where do you come up with this idea that I'm going to put a peach in the watermelon? Well, it's just experience, isn't mm. it? This is experience. I mean, because I've been around the world, Tim. I've been in Vietnam, I lived in Australia, I lived in South America. I've worked in all corners of the earth in it. So, and I, I think what we're getting, the signature, your signature, if you like, is the way you combine all these different flavours. Oh, yeah. And there's certainly there, the vanilla and the, the uh, watermelon added to the coconut and the sesame seeds. Fresh, with the, yeah. It's just fresh, it's beautiful. I know, because the ice cream makes it fresh as well. It does, it does. And, and I'm also, a... with normal ice cream, you know, part of the point, I'm not like anybody ice cream company because I, we all love ice cream. But with this particular product, because the fat content's so low and there's low stabiliser, that it doesn't sit in your stomach and it's fresh. It certainly it? doesn't. I'm going to have some more. You know I mean? So, um, just to round this one up, because I think this one ha has, has brought uh, the last two episodes together as well. If you want to know anything more about Johnny, then go on over to www.johnnysdairyfreeicecream.com. And of course, if you want to know anything more about Fussell's Fine Foods, then pop on over to fusselsfinefoods.co.uk. And you can follow us, just search for our handle at Fussell's Rapeseed, and you'll be able to find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you want to know more about this kitchen, if you want to use this kitchen, we do breakfast, we do pop-up restaurants, um, we do guest chef slots as well on Fussell TV. So if you're interested, then please pick up the phone and give us a ring. Brilliant. Now, that's all from us. So that's it, Tim. it's goodbye from me. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. See Thank you. Bye-bye.